Okay, what's up everybody? This is Tio and the Gamer, and we're back with part four of Alone With You. And do we're getting ready to go into the Hollow September to talk to Leslie of the Baradwaj. And she was the um director of the Ardroponics. She's is supposed to be helping us with uh, the life support and food processing. Uh, we found out a little bit about her from going through the agroponics dome. And apparently she's she's the leader of it, but she's not very good at making decisions. She's very indecisive and tries to please everybody. And because of that, she was fighting with um, at least one of the other people there. Um, so, okay, oh, Ashley Hainsworth. She was fighting with her. So that may have led to what happened to the agroponics dome. Apparently there was a toxin that was released and it got into the food supply and contaminated a lot of the food and pretty much just ran havoc. There's also kind of hints that maybe there was something else going on, that maybe there was somebody died. Well, I mean, obviously everybody died, but that there was some kind of a murder uh, we found a body next to a ladder and it said that it seemed like he was either hit or maybe he fell off the ladder but there's a possibility that he was killed by somebody so we don't know the events that led up to everybody dying we found another guy who was buried under a rubble um, so far though we don't really know too much about the situation there but we're going to talk to her and we'll see what she has to say. So, okay, here we go. Begin the Holosim program. And welcome, Leslie. Oh, hello there. It's nice to finally get to meet you. I'm aware of your trip today, at least partly. How did the mission go? Mm, I would say it was a... Whoops. Oops. Press the wrong button. Okay. Oh yes, I can remember there was quite a bit of decay and destruction. That must have been tough. So, okay. It was, it was difficult. I've just been there. I've just been here tending my garden. It's odd that now that I'm, well, this, I guess, that I finally get to do what I love. Back in the agrodomes, we're under a lot of pressure. Managing the staff and the operation was so important, but if I'm being honest, it was always the plants that I loved. The process of it, the puzzle of it all, you know? Tell me more. Well, you know, the others were obsessed with radios or drones or ships. With me, it's always been about plants. When I was little, my family had a small farm, one of the few that were left. By then, agriculture was almost entirely automated. It was illegal to sell the crops that we produced. Too much regulation, too many companies controlling our food. You probably remember that. So, we were only able to feed ourselves, which was also technically illegal. Everything we grew was natural or as close as we could get. But after my parents died, I couldn't afford to keep the farm, to fend off the legal challenges from the companies that claimed we were stealing patented seeds. And somehow I found my way here. Hudson Cartier gave me the labs, gave me farmland, let me set up greenhouses. All the rations we had here, those were all designed in my lab, tested in my field. All I ever wanted was to work with plants. Well, it's like anything else, it's rewarding to be challenged, to break new ground. Plants are like that for me. Maybe it's different for you, but the thrill of seeing life grow between your hands and your feet, it's magical for me. Especially since this facility is so cold otherwise, all these prefab halls, building block pieces, everything in its place. Plants, flowers, trees, you can only impose so much order on them, you know? They soften the edges, reduce the monotony. All I ever wanted was to work with plants, do you know what I mean? <laughs> really, that's comforting in a way. When you're the director of an operation like that, it's hard to find people who share your passion. When I signed up to come out here, I was thrilled with the idea of cultivating and nurturing an entire ecosystem. I mean, Hudson Cartier had a plan, of course. There are stages to terraforming, the ultimate one being, really, the creation of life. Just imagine it. 
This whole world green, lush, vibrant, just like Earth used to be. The promise of that kept me going every day. But now, now all I have is this little garden, and it is being real, and I guess nor am I. Oh, Tom, what are we going to do? So it's okay. Most of the time I forget that I'm just a, just a stupid hologram, a simulation. But sometimes I remember. I remember and I can't think about anything else. Listen, let's change the subject, otherwise I won't be able to calm down. You must have some questions, something you want to talk about? Hmm. Do we want to go with the dome? Your staff or dog photo? Okay, the staff might be a touchy pro uh, problem or topic. Let's start with the dome. Sure, sure, I can tell you more about the agri-dome. Before everything went as few, it was quite the plague. Let's see what we can find out here. You probably only saw the main agricultural dome. That was where all the reduction took place. It was really something else. Prior to coming here, we had researched for a decade the kinds of plants we should cultivate. We went through so many trials for suitability, nutrition, efficiency. We couldn't bring meat or animals. They were just too costly and difficult to manage. But the food processors could take plant parts and create so much with them. That technology was headed up by a team that Pierre appointed. My job was to find the right plants, the ones that could be used for hundreds of different things. We actually lost more seeds than we expected during space travel here, so in a way, we started behind schedule. Finally, I was able to farm for real, not just to feed myself, but to supply an entire system. I think my parents would have loved it. Is there anything else you care to talk about? Do you want to just jump straight into the staff or go with the dog photo? Let's go with the dog photo. Oh, that's Charlie, my old dog. Wherever did you find this? Boy, do I miss that old corgi. Poor Charlie, I don't know how long it's been. Before I committed to Hudson Cartier, and eventually to this, I had to give him up. He was the best. I tried to make him a working dog, but to be honest, he was kind of lazy. I wasn't great at training him. Charlie would sort of pretend to listen to me, but he always had his own agenda. I was a sucker for it. He was just too charming, that scruffy little guy. That's kind of how she seems to be with her uh, people, her staff. He's probably well gone by now, but the farmer took him with great time, I know. Good old Charlie. I'm so glad you brought this to me. It's nice to think about the old farm. It helps me focus. I think I can work even harder on these fixes for your ship now. Is there anything else you care to talk about? She seems kind of sad. Uh, I guess we have to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, okay, we can talk about them. Although I warn you, I'm better with plants than I am with people. I think one of the other reasons I love working with plants so much is that they're systems I can understand. People are different. The lab work, farming, it's all complicated and often hard to predict. But people are just more so. Being the chief of the domes reminded me of that. If I'm being honest, I would have preferred to be in the labs all day and not managing people. I'm not sure I was the best at the best of it. Well, I know I wasn't. Oh, I can't quite remember why. I guess the AI's version of me isn't as complete as it should be. I do remember, however, Ashley. She was a chief genetics researcher. We didn't always see eye to eye. You know, just before the Rift event, I recall us having quite a heated argument. She wanted to push ahead with a new strain of tuber, and I disagreed. I, I can't thank you enough for coming to visit. It does get lonely in here, even if it is beautiful. I hope you'll come back again sometime. Nah. Sorry, you're depressing. I'll oh, see a little flower pin. Okay, let's go. We'll go with you bet. That would be great. It helps to talk about these things, go over old details. It'll keep me sharp so I can help with your ship. I'm going to go back to my garden now, I suppose. Good luck, Tom. I hope to see you again soon. Oh, you probably will. find out I mean okay her dog's name is Charlie and he was a corgi she had to give him up like before she left 
And maybe it's not so much about her being indecisive as it is like she just doesn't want to do it. She just doesn't want to be a leader. Okay, let's go to bed. And we're going for day three. So we'll find out what the next mission is going to be and then we'll end this video and start a new one. Six o'clock. Good morning once again. The holograms are very motivated. Did you have an enjoyable time last night? You bet, Hal. Excellent. Our decision to aug augment our efforts with the holograms is proven to be the right one. This is great news. As long as they feel inspired to aid you, I believe they will excel in their work. Please keep this in mind. There are two more areas you can explore to further our goal. Come see me in the court again and you can begin your day. Let's see if there's anything new in here. Terraforming engineering. It doesn't look like there's really anything. Wait, maybe at our terminal? So we may be able to use that later. So let's go talk to Hal. I mean, our AI. And here we go. Decide where we're going to go for the day. And... Okay, there are still two more areas I'd like you to check out where we can. Please go south to the shuttle bay to choose your mission for today. Remember, when you choose an area, you, you can see which hologram is associated with that area if that's important to you. If you're superficial and shallow like that. Okay. Uh, it says the same thing. Okay. So, go to the main hallway and then to the shuttle bay. Shuttle, what do we got? Colony B, where we can go with Pierre. Pierre, who appointed the staff for Leslie. Okay, he's the colony director. And we'll see what he has to say. Or we have to the cave with Jean. Mission complete, that is currently inaccessible. And. So we have to the caves or to Colony B. Okay, John is the resource management director. John Lamumba. He will be helping us with ship power and stability. Uh, what the heck? We'll start with the furthest one out. Colony B, Pierre. That way maybe we can find out also what happened to uh, when you can. William King. You get some information on her, buddy. Okay. We're here, Colony B. I haven't seen this facility since a rift event and blocked off all access. Only with the recent seismic activity has it been possible to come here again, and yet I would very much prefer not to. Unfortunately, coming back here is quite necessary. Today, you'll need to find four useful parts for the escape ship's thrusters. Please be careful. Okay. So, we're looking for four parts. And another thing we can do out here is place looks pretty much like every other place. Damaged. And here we are in Colony B. It's dark in there, isn't it? It'll be difficult for you to find anything to scan like that. I imagine a lot of the facility won't work without some backup power. Okay, so before we go look for backup power, we're going to end this video, and then we'll start a new one. So we can go into Colony B and go exploring here. Okay, so this is TOM the Gamer. Please comment, like, subscribe. Any theories? Any... pretty much anything. Just go ahead and comment on it. And... 
please subscribe also to CNC the Gamer and Strix Gaming. And have a good day.